Hey everybody, it's Brett here with The Tuning School and today I'm gonna to be talking about knock. Real knock versus false knock and how to utilize the benefits of a Plex knock monitor to tell the difference. We've been using these knock monitors here at The Tuning School for many, many years now and we think it's an effective and essential part of tuning any highly modified vehicle. So let's talk a little bit about what knock is. So knock is the sound of the piston actually rattling inside the cylinder as it fights its way up against the pressure wave that was combustion. Now there's two types of knock. The first one's called pre-ignition, which means the air slash fuel mixture inside the cylinder combusted before the spark plug fired. This is caused by too hot of a spark plug, a lean AFR, or carbon buildup in the cylinder. The second thing that causes knock is detonation which means instead of one combustion point coming from the spark plug, there are multiple combustion points within the cylinder that collide, creating shock waves that produce a sharp metallic pinging or knocking noise. Now, for obvious reasons, we want to try to avoid knock because it could be damaging to your engine. But the challenging part as a tuner is we have a condition that is called false knock. So for example, our 2006 Corvette is fairly heavily modified. It's got a Thompson Motorsport built 416 engine with a healthy camshaft. It's got a completely different rotating assembly, obviously in the bottom end. It's got a Procharger D1X. It's got an LSX intake manifold. And so basically everything from the crankshaft to the valve springs is different than stock. So the issue is our ECU and our knock sensors are listening for a stock engine, but it's not stock anymore. So because of that, the engine is now so loud that it's exceeding the noise threshold that is set from the factory that determines what knock is or is not. Now, another example of this is gonna be swap vehicles. If you take an engine and you put it in a 69 Camaro that's got solid motor mounts and all this other crazy stuff, that ECU doesn't know that it's in that car, or in that chassis, and everything sounds completely different. So this is where the Plex knock monitor is gonna come into play. So unlike the OEM systems, the Plex knock monitor is not based on a noise threshold. It actually listens to all of the sounds using an OEM style knock sensor. And what it's doing is it's picking up on the outlier. So it's listening for the noise spikes because that's typically what knock is actually gonna be. So one of the awesome features about this unit is that it has a basic mode, which gets you up and running really quickly. So after you open it up out of the box, you're gonna install the knock sensor on the vehicle. Now, more often than not, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take off the factory knock sensor and replace it with the Plex knock sensor itself. After we do that, we plug it into this unit. All you have to do is select the cylinder bore size for the engine that you're working with, and then the Plex knock monitor is gonna determine the most likely frequency that that knock is gonna happen at. For our Corvette, the closest bore size we have is 100 millimeters, and that's gonna get a 6,120 hertz. If you wanna take things a step further than the basic setup, there's also an option for an advanced setup. The way that this is gonna work is you're gonna take your tuning software and you're gonna set the ignition timing for the vehicle to something relatively low, normally somewhere between 10 and 15 degrees of timing. At that point, you're gonna power the Plex knock monitor up and you're gonna run the engine at full load all the way through the RPM range. What this is gonna do on the Plex is give you a bunch of data points for the sound of that engine. And you pretty much can guarantee it's not knocking because the timing is set so low. What you'll then do on the Plex is you'll actually manually set the noise threshold for what knock is gonna be just above where those data points were for normal engine sound. This guarantees that when it does knock, it's gonna exceed that threshold and you'll be able to pick up on it really easily. Another great feature of the Plex knock monitor is it can actually do per cylinder knock detection. Now, in order to get this feature, you're gonna need to buy the dual channel knock monitor itself. But after you do that, if you wire it with an RPM pickup and you tell it the firing order of your engine, it's gonna infer which cylinder was closest to top dead center at the time of the event, which is the most likely cylinder to be knocking. Now, this is really cool for you guys that are using standalones on your engines because typically on a standalone, you can control timing per cylinder. That means you can actually remove the timing from the specific cylinder that has too much and leave it in the others. Another great benefit of the Plex knock monitor, it actually comes with its own super powerful data logging software. This software is gonna hook directly to the unit. It's gonna give you all of the knock event information at your fingertips in an easy to see way. Now, if you don't wanna get that involved with the software, the unit itself has an awesome LCD display that's super easy to read, as well as some LED indicator lights that'll flash at you when knocks actually occurring. 
While these units can be kind of pricey, coming in at around $1,000, there's a lot of value in them. One, they're very robust, they're really well made, so they last a very long time. But two, it's much more effective to spend the money on the unit to determine if knock is real or false, rather than to guess and then have to replace an engine that gets damaged. In the comments, let us know what your experience has been with figuring out if knock is real or false. And if you want more information on the Plex knock monitor, make sure you check out thetuningschool.com. For more high performance tuning knowledge, follow us on social media, and as always, stay tuned. I'm so scared. You got it. I bet I could, I could probably jump from here. If I break my ankle, I'll just like flip around. Hold on, hold on. And stuck the dismount.